while Gale was joining the arena because they chose their stage and characters very quickly. Three, but two, Gale one, sticking it out go. with Pit. Curious to see how uh, how Gale is going to come back to speed that Sonic has. Throwing out a lot of nairs would probably be effective as a spin dash. Yeah. He really wants to connect onto his opponent, but Nair will actually cover the entirety of it. Okay, another dash attack for Gayo. Same, uh, a bit of a hit and run style where even, even when Tony's the Tank is starting to approach um, Gayo, we'll see him dash back to give him a little bit more space to see how uh, Tony is going to react. And just like yeah. that, using the side B to launch Tony off stage. That's the one thing I really like that Gale has with with most of his characters between Hero and Pit is he looks for that that prime like spacing at the ledge to kind of like force an opponent when he's gonna come back, when he's gonna come for the aerial, and then look for an opponent to court. Spawn the orbiters once again. Man, I'm just starting to see Gale, you know. Really fighting back into three takes uh, center stage. A spin dash into forward air will close out that stock. The side special here. Puts him off the stage. Good stuff though from Gale for trying to mix up this uh, direction he's using. Oh. in the spin dash, following up with an air into an F tilt. Tony is a tank, putting on big damage onto Gale. He can get a reversal with the spring. Wow, okay. I actually thought that was gonna take the stock, but Gale is still living, dropping the orders a little bit too soon. Oh no, he clipped his legs. He went for his he, legs. Yeah, he went for his legs indeed. And it's also important to know, like, I have seen it quite a few times. Some Sonics are actually able to spin dash over Pitch Orbitars and still hit him. Hit him. Pitch Orbitars only cover the side, so if Tony can actually get around them at some points, he can either hit Pit above or below. Okay, but a revenge stock is going to be for Engeo. As uh, no, we see a couple double of down double. smashes, only one of them needed to connect. Nice, downer into neutral light. He wanted to need that opportunity to go for the forward air because he know where he might have been di just to get away. Up tilt connects, and here we go. A projectile game coming from Gale. More down smashes, trying to cast a landing of the homing attack. Orbiters dropping down, trying to land a forward air off the road. The lag of the orbiters. Yeah, really good play here to kind of counter that slowly. The grab might be going for a down throw, yeah, I was going to say. Wants that combo, doesn't want to use the four throw. He knows he's only going to get stage control, but he wants more percent just to buy himself some time. He sees the bounce and the punish. Indeed, like I mentioned earlier, Gale, I think both Gale and Tony can solve the job of understanding that prime spacing of like when to be with punishing my opponent in the neutral and respecting their options. And then punishing accordingly. Really good stuff to to get out to winning game one. Tony though not that far behind. He was definitely looking to make some adjustments there on Dark Play as he was going. We, it's the first time I think seeing Gale on screen with just one stock. Aside from the comeback he almost oh, seen up against uh Johnny. Yeah, well, looks like Tony Z Tank is giving him giving Gaio a run for his money. Um with the way that these two are actually going back and forth, it's very possible we'll see game five. Three, two, one. Man, go. I didn't even check my pick. <laughs> I think you should have never got on. I didn't check. I just thought out loud. Like, I didn't check my turnip prices. They're not that good on Mondays, but I hope they're not. It's the day that you had like seven hundred. Oh, don't tell him that. Uh, don't. I'm gonna check right now. Hold on. Better not check right now. Don't check right now. <laughs> and, and I'm trying to be that billionaire, you feel me? But see who's gonna be uh, the real winner here between Gale and Tony here in Game Two. Another narrative does clip uh, Tony. He, is, he 
So you just like go into these spin dash animations and then sh or hops or full hops to uh, cancel the animation. Or even yeah. Makes up, uh, makes up Gayo that he's going to cancel and then lets it rip. Oh, messing up the spacing with the uh, Gayo being at 90%. I think that you would think the spin dash would have been enough to put Gayo in front of uh, Tony. I thought I really should have connected that. So that's interesting. <laughs> a little bit of an arrow to kind of just push out a little bit of damage. Arrow does have a little bit of a knockback to actually stop spin dash just enough at certain points. Oh, very smart. using the spring challenge, oh. the recovery. Good stuff there on. Gale to actually hold back on that control stick just a little bit to avoid getting possibly punished there by the side special. Yeah, if that spring didn't connect onto the side special, that could have been one dead Sonic. Okay, a little bit of arrows. Kind of wants somebody to kind of stay back a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I see patient play coming off from both players. Oh, but he uh, fell out of forward and that fully connected. He might have lost the stock at 121 right side of the stage. Maybe, I think uh, Tony was was uh, counting on the drag down forward air. It looked like uh, another F tilt came out. Good stuff on Gale, using those projectiles, like I mentioned earlier. He's looking for the keep away game, trying to fence him out. Not only that, if he is able to actually get it accordingly, he can punish Gale for a, I'm sorry, uh, Tony for a push after. Yeah, it gets the forward throw at the ledge, but it's not gonna be enough. Yeah, usually- Back to the ledge, slowly spinning his way back. And usually you would see forward throw kill like anywhere from, I believe it's like 140 to 160. Within that percentage range, it usually kills at the ledge only. So he has a little bit more percent to actually push up against Sonic because we can kill with forward throw. All right, so hold That's shield, gets next. away immediately. See a drag down forward air into down smash. Gale popping off a little bit. I mean, you got the top button here. You might as well use it. <laughs> no kidding, dude. He, he's wasted like three minutes of his life barely getting the first knock out. 144. I gotta applaud Gale for his patience. Yeah, I mean, Gale definitely wants his W. He's so close. Already winners finals. You know, Tony also winners finals. These two battle it out. But for Gale, you know, he's he's looking focused. He's chilling back. Shooting projectiles, forcing Tony to approach, and once Tony does commit to an approach, he uses Nair to try and catch uh, the spin attack. Spin nice. Attack. Holds back a little bit on the side special just to avoid getting punished afterward. That I mean, was this, really I... smart from Tony. You see that he used forward air to clank with the projectile. And then yeah. Good, enough, enough to slowly push inside a little bit more towards Gale and then make the punish too as well. I think that's the one thing I'm liking about these two, they're slowly adjusting themselves against one another. Like, Tony knows, okay, he's gonna go for these arrows to stop me and hold me in place, but I gotta find a way to get out of it. I can go the jump off the spin dash, I can go a clank against the projectile, I can slowly get in the gap against Gale. While Gale also understands, like, I can actually let go of arrows soon enough to punish Tony for making an approach and maybe clip him with neutral air. Okay, well, that was a great conversion. Using the first hit of up air, put a little bit of damage and even reset Gayo. And then knocking Gayo off stage again. And here we go. Here is the wall that Gayo continues to put out. Yeah, like I mentioned, it's that laser is enough knockback to stop that spin dash. And like, I think that's something that definitely Tony knows. So he's always looking to move around in here. But I also like the fact that Gayo kind of uses this early in his to try to punish Tony for still going, avoiding it, and then hit him with neutral air. And the neutral air and active frames for Peter's pretty solid enough to actually you know, hit him. A little bit overzealous with the dash attack, not able to actually get the fall. So does see him off the stage, once again using that side special and narrowly avoiding getting punished out. One thing I want to point out is that we see Tony's a tank using the using the spring like we would we would expect Tony to put out a uh, spring once Pit is recovering. Mm -hmm. um, but whenever Gale recovers from the side B, he hits the spring, you know, sends him into that hit animation. We actually see like Tony weaving around trying to connect back here. So he's putting these springs out, expecting side B to come out from Gale, and then trying to punish accordingly. Nice changing it up instead of uh, forward air goes for the player. At this opportunity here, I think that's what definitely 
where he knows he's got to put out one for the two certain combos won't work with spin dash anymore, so he has to change to the other. Things like neutral air, especially not working with above. spin dash though. That's so crazy. Yep. And it's not all oh, forward air, yeah, and that's good. Right. And that's gonna connect. And here we go. Game two. One stock apiece. Only one minute left on the board, so very possible timeout coming our way. Especially oh, if no. these two are racking up damage. Um, yep, and I think that's the, that's something that Tony kind of just realized right then and there. He's like, I got a minute on the board. If I hit Gao enough times, <laughs> this is gonna yeah, be Yeah, if I hit Gao enough times, it's gonna be up for him. And guess what? It's really easy to deal with projectiles uh, when you're far away. Like, oh, is you gonna spam the arrow at me? Guess what? This may be Wi-Fi, but I can still hold the R button. Yep, and I like the fact that I think Gale slowly understands that too. He goes, I have to go for arrow to neutral it every time. So you hopefully hit Tony for trying to go for a hit here. Okay. Nice. Oh, watch out. the instant homing attack too. He's trying to put some damage. We are seeing the numbers extend in Gale's favor. Another dash attack connects 33%, 42%. Uh, lead for Gale. Yeah, this is a big lead. This is such a big lead at this point. Gale just has to little, be a little more patient here. I like the fact that he's going for fast fall aerials too, uh, just to avoid getting punished afterwards. Like he's playing his race with seven seconds of the cloud, maybe seconds. And there it yep. is. Yeah, there it down. is. <laughs> Not going to be able to rise up enough damage. <laughs> Who's going to really take the win? Who's going to win? Oh, okay. Good guy, Tony. It just runs off. <laughs> I'm look, hate Sonic all you want, man. I actually enjoyed the way how mind, not, not the mind games, it is the counterplay against one another that these two are having. And I'm really loving how it's kind of developed into a communication system between one another. Gail puts out an arrow, Tony starts going for spin dash jump. He sees the timer, he starts going for fastball aerial. They're having this back and forth communication that like their own one can make the proper punishment here. And when it came down to the last minute, it was hit and don't get hit, just like Arrow saying in the chat. That was, I have to admit, that was some great play. I really love the way that Tony understood Gao, but also how Gao also understood Tony here. And that's what was, I think the scoreboard is wrong. I think it's, yeah, Gao's favor. 2-0 Gao's favor. What I really yeah. like seeing is that we got support for both players in the chat. Yes. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm enjoying this. In the chat. Yeah, we're starting to see a, maybe a little bit more aggressive start for, for Tony. You know, the patient play didn't exactly work out for him too well in, in game two. Very close, but, you know, Gay was able to take the lead and really just maintain it when it mattered. Yeah, I and mean, I think the, the little bit more of a play is something that Gayle might be, like, slowly accustomed to. I have been, that's why we see him go for a roll, because he knows he can get out of that situation and then be in enough of that range we can punish Tony for going for that area. But also Tony is really, really on the rails of like, trying to find a way to slowly poke in. Like this right said it the best. I don't hate Sonic, I feel bad for him. Such a cool character with the, uh, what was arguably a sad move set to <laughs> Okay, well that landing F tilt is gonna put uh, some damage onto Gale. Look at that, look at the rack up. Starting to, you know, inch closer in Tony's favor. Yeah. With that amount of rage, like, Gay was actually in, in kill percent. Yep. And that's what we kind of see, like, Tony, like, slowly move in and out with spin dash, looking to different angles. He's not giving up. And that's that's kind of a little bit more of a counterplay towards Gale. Is at one point, another Gale may falter, but that dash attack does close in the gap in terms of a clock lead here. Gives Big Gale a little bit more breathing space into two neutral areas, into a third one here. What a corner carry, Gale. Max percent for the second, the second back end, but still good opportunity. 35, 35 damage onto Tony's and taking him off stage. That's a combo they, you know, you gotta take that every single time. That's that Wendy's four for four. Yeah, oh, definitely. Four for five now, thanks to. Oh, they nerfed, <laughs> they nerfed it. They nerfed, they nerfed the combo. It, hey, you, you know, shout outs to Little Caesars, man. They had never five dollars. <laughs> Are you sure you can call that pizza man? Are you sure? <laughs> hey man, when I was in high school, when I was in high school, sure as hell Facebook. Oh yeah, that was that was definitely the, <laughs> the budget life for sure. Oh no, the directional air dodge! Okay, where are you going, man? We were just talking about pizza. That's not that's not a reason for you to go. 
Good stuff for Arrow to actually point out that Gale is looking pretty good at the matchup. Uh, you and I, as uh, has mentioned, Gale actually does use Sonic. Uh, he is kind of a counter pick master in the same way we have seen Shine. So he is accustomed to the character. But I do like the fact that Tony always looks for an angle to kind of get in on Gale and slowly push a little bit more percent and advantage. I mean, the first stop, we clutch both at kill. First, first game was a. Uh was entertaining. The second one, even though it wasn't timeout, it's still very close. And honestly, uh, it came down to Gayo's defense after wrecking up a certain amount of damage. One good combo is all it took to win game two. Yeah. 67%. I want to say maybe two more hits from Sonic there, and he's looking at a possibly, you know, even stock percent. Yeah, getting the cross up with the spin dash into homing attack. You know, typical mix ups from Sonic's. But, oh, very smart from, from Gayo to use the expend the second jump because Tony again with a lot of rage try to connect a late nair that definitely would have killed that high. Yeah, and I just want to point out something. Sonic, we we've been seeing uh, Tony go for back airs up against Gayo's Garden Orbitars. That back air is strong enough in knockback to actually break the Orbitars if you guys have been seeing the set. Yeah, a couple of I think that was a turnaround back air for Gayo. It's gonna close out that stock. Once again, I mean, it's Gayo taking the first stock, and then Tony is just a little bit far behind here. Can he get it off to the neutral? He doesn't get it, but nice opportunity. Blend of the platform to punish accordingly. Nice. He was setting himself up for a back air, but Gayo kind of already sensed that out. Good downer out of the shield. It does send you up at an angle. We can actually punish with a back air or order afterwards. Even a neutral at times, mostly back air and after down air. Sometimes second down air, depending on the knockback. 10%. See a Nair out of shield for Gay and just continues to wreck up his damage onto Tony. And even retreating back and using arrows. We saw, we did see like a an aggressive streak coming from Gay where he's, you know, kind of rushing down Tony, approaching him, uh, approaching with fares, dares, and nares. Um, and it was able to really apply numbers to Tony, but now losing his second stock, Gale retreats back to his uh, his defensive style. Yeah, and it's Gale with the lead percent to 111, man. With about less two minutes on the clock. It's up to I don't think 20 to kind of find go to time, though. No, don't not think at all. Going to go for time. Scooping Sonic right out of the spin dash. Or throw, like I said, not it. Usually anywhere from 104 to 160, depending on the characters, is when floor throw will kill directly at the ledge. Spin dash getting caught by an up tilt. Gale's working on this kill to go 3 0 in winner's finals. Double forward air catches Gale, though. This is going to be the moment that Tony wants to go in, rack up some damage, only able to really capitalize with one back air. Okay, that was here good, we go. though, on the parry. Yep, more damage coming Gale's way. Oh, but getting poked by an arrow at this high of percent. You know Gale's looking for a grab. Lay off the Z button, Gale. <laughs> he might be looking for that 191. This is pretty much a dead Sonic. With a throw, really good opportunity. Oh, the the arrow. Yo, and he curved it. He curved it down at the last second. Just when Tony 